everybody, welcome back. Oh my god, I don't remember what episode of figure surgery this is. What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 26. Sorry about that, totally forgot what episode we were on. The last time we were on this, I think we did like the Seth, the Seth Rollins fix-ups. We did that Finn Balor fix-up where I almost snapped his neck off. This time, Christ on a bike, man. You see how much that separated it? I freaking hate that trash. This freaking head scan sucks eggs. We did all those Rollins fix-ups. Remember we made the SummerSlam 2015, we did this. We did that. We did the, we did a lot of Seth Rollins and Finn Balor stuff. This time we have the total opposite. You guys can see that we got Harper, we got Rowan, we got Luke Harper, we got Eric Rowan, we have the Bludgeon Brothers, we got Umaga in the house, Akum from AOPP, The Rock in the house. We're going to be doing some cool stuff here today and I'm actually pretty excited about it because I'm going to be doing some fix-ups that are going to relate to the pick fed and those are always my favorite. <sighs> so we're going to do some fix-ups that are going to relate to the pick fed. You guys can see right here we have a cloth t-shirt. You guys can already probably tell what we're going to be doing. I'm very excited. So everybody knows that the Bludgeon brothers are gone, right? The Bludgeon brothers are no more. Eric Rowan's doing his own thing with Daniel Bryan. I am ordering another Harper on the way just because I know that, you know, his figures, guys, he's probably going to leave the company. He's going to be AEW bound. He's going to be leaving WWE. So if you want to pick up a Luke Harper, guys, I think this is the time. I think you need to go grab any Luke Harper figures. If you want to grab this one, it has the best head scan. We're not getting another head scan. So if you want this one, you want the Elite 29 or the Elite 35 or whatever, you better go grab them because they're not going to last forever. So I'm going to be grabbing a few Luke Harpers, a few Rowans, because you never know, you know, Eric Rowan's always changing his gimmick and stuff, and the Bludgeon Brothers are no more, so you might as well load up on those figures, use the head scans, use the parts, do some different stuff. So what we're going to do today, guys, let's go ahead and get into it. I guess we can start off with my boy Harper right here, chilling on the on the hospital bed. So for Luke Harper, guys, you guys know in the pick fed, he is a part of the Wyatt Colt. He has not made his debut yet. Yet, that's the key word. Who knows? He may be on episode 13 of Vindication. We'll have to see. What I want to do with this Luke Harper is I'm going to head swap it. Of course, I'm going to put that Bludgeon Brothers Elite Series 66 head scan over here. I think that will look a lot better. It's got the true effects technology. It's got the bigger beard. It's got the ponytail. He just looks bad, eh, dude? Even though that head scan's pretty massive, I think it'll look good on this figure, but we're not going to stop there. I think what I'm going to do is remove this jacket from his body, remove uh, this shirt, you know, the the, the, the sweat-soaked t-shirt here. I'm going to remove that. I think I'm going to remove Remove the uh, red bandanas from his wrist and then we're going to put this cloth t-shirt onto this figure with that head scan and I think that's going to be a pretty sweet fix up. What do you guys think? I think that's the way I want him to look with the Wyatt Colt. I just think that'll be really cool. We can still hold on to this uh, jacket here. I may order a cloth jacket or something to put over it but I really like that it says he's got the whole world in his hands you guys know from the Wyatt family. I really like that so I may keep that on there. I don't know how it'll look with the black shirt over it so we'll just have to see but but that is what we're going to do with Harper. As far as Rowan goes, it's pretty simple, guys. We're just going to head swap Rowan. I think that'll be pretty sweet. Even, the, you know, the, the True Effects Elite 66 right here is a lot better than this. And um, this is the Elite 48 Eric Rowan. I wish I had a better body to do for him. I just don't like this body at all. I just don't know what to do. So until I figure out what I want to do, um, I guess we're just going to have to rock with this black jumpsuit. I also like that it has, like, the logo and the Fear Me with the, you know, the sheet mask and everything. And it kind of just relates to the pick fed so I want to keep that but I do like this head scan better so we're going to switch the head scans I like that grimacing face it's just a lot better head scan so we're going to definitely switch those so that is Harper and Rowan and next up guys we have AOPP aka Acom right here and if you guys don't know, I already ordered another one because I, I obviously don't want to, you know, just totally replace my, my Acom. I want to have a, another one so that I can use this one for parts. So I ordered another one off Amazon. And what we're going to be doing with this one is an interesting little thing. I don't want to give too much away. What I'm going to do is switch all the parts on here and then let you guys just sort of comment down below what you guys think of it and who you think it's going to be. But my thought process is removing the legs from the Acom, putting these Rock TNF Walmart exclusive legs on here so he has a pan look. He'll have this uh, singlet uh, slash tank top looking body and for the arms, I really don't like these arms for the person that I'm trying to make here, so I don't know. I may switch them out. I may not, but if I do switch them out, I think I'm going to use Umaga arms and what I'll have to do is switch out the hands and I'll have to acetone the tattoos and um, do some different stuff with these arms, but for sure we're definitely going to be taking off the head. We're going to be switching the legs and I'll probably go ahead and switch the arms just to see what it looks like and uh, we'll go from there. I can always buy another 
another Umaga. I really like Umaga and I love this figure, but I don't know. We'll have to just see how it goes. But I am going to switch those arms, switch the legs from the rock over here, do all these Bludgeon Brothers switches and swappages and stuff. But that is what we're doing today here on Action Figure Surgery, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, it looks like we're going to start things off with my boy Eric Rowan slash Rowan. We got both here. We got Eric. We got regular Rowan. We got Bludgeon Brother. We got family of the Wyatts going on here. So uh, hopefully we don't snap any necks here. It's going to be uh, pretty interesting, but let's go ahead and see if we can get this right. I don't know how I'm going to get it all situated, but let's go ahead and hit it, and hopefully we don't snap any necks. All right, guys, should be long enough. I guess we can start off with regular Rowan here and see if... Like, how shitty would it be if we just tore his beard off like Neville? How crappy would that be? Uh, can I grip it from the backside? I really don't want to grip it under the beard here, but... All right, so we did get the other head scan off. Now, we can go to the older head scan. Oh, my Jesus in Christ! His beard is on freaking fire. You see the red in it? The orange? Literal fire. Okay, we got it. All right, now... We'll pop on his newer head sculpt onto the older figure here. And we got it, and we'll take a look at that at the end. But uh, thank God that worked, guys. Oh, my God, the underside of his beard. Lord Jesus. I guess we can go ahead and pop this on here since, uh, you know, I don't want this body running around headless. So there we go. We got that on there, and we'll take a look at that at the end, of course. So Rowan is complete. Now we can move on to AOPP. We'll move on to AOPP and uh, what we're doing with him. Again, I'm not going to let you guys know. Again, if you want to take a guess of who we're making down in the comment section below, that's fine. But I'm not going to reveal anything here today because I, I just don't I don't want to. You know what? But here we go, getting Umaga and Akum into position. This should be good enough. Hopefully, I can heat up both their arms and the head scan, you know, at the same time. And then we can, or we're not switching the head scans. We're just popping the head off of here, switching the arms and then we'll go to the legs with the rock. All right, guys, let's see what we got here. We can start off with Akum, and we're going to pop his head scan off here. His head is his head is very hot seas. So, oh, God. Got to be careful here. All right, got his head scan off. Now let's pop the arm off, the one arm. Got the one arm, got the other arm, and that's it. I don't think his legs are going to come off because, you know, we didn't heat up his legs here. But now we can move over here. We don't have to pop off Umaga's, so that's good. But we can go ahead and pop these arms up here. And, golly, that went on pretty good there. So we got that arm. Switching over to the right arm and popping that in there. And, actually, I want to pop these hands out. Um, should I pop? Yeah, I'll go ahead and pop out these hands, and we'll see... Uh, We'll see later on about uh, what I want to do with this. But now we're going to move on to his legs. So uh, we can take these up here. We can move Umaga over there too. That's sort of our leftover fodder pieces that we got here. So now what we're going to do with AOPP or Akum. If, if you don't know why I call them AOPP, guys, it's because the last time they were on television, they were they were in a pissing storyline with Drake Maverick on Monday Night Raw, and then we haven't seen them since. Um, or they were in the Battle Royal at Super Showdown, weren't they? Yeah, big old waste of a return. But anyways, let's go ahead and heat up the crotch here, and we'll put uh, Akum there, and then we'll take The Rock, who's actually been holding my hair dryer in place. So now we're going to have to find a different figure to hold him in place. We'll spread the legs of The Rock, and we'll do the same thing here, and it should be a very easy transition, hopefully. But I'll take Luke Harper, set him on top of the hairdryer now and we're gonna hit this should be able to do this all in one take it should be relatively easy um since they're on ball joints you know not those pine cone awful joints but let's go ahead and hit it all right ladies and gentlemen that should be good enough let's go ahead lift up the rocks arms here we're going to slide off the ball joint right here and it actually didn't get as hot as i would have liked is at least at least the rocks didn't but there we go with that now popping off akums hopefully these aren't loose and hopefully they go on pretty tight see i love the ball joints guys they go on so easy all right there is that and then the other leg uh yeah there, uh, yeah there we go flipping it around and should plug right in right here and is that it is that it right there? All right, we got it, and we'll take a look at that at the end. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to like it. We'll just have to see. There is another figure that I could switch the legs with that we'll have to take a look at later on. I'll get your guys' opinion on it at the end, 
But uh, let's go ahead and go on to Harper since he's the last uh, person in this video. So we've done our Umaga arm swap. We've done our rock leg swap. Now we're moving on to Harper, which is Bludgeon Brother right here. And then we have his older Elite, which I guess the first thing we need to do is remove this coat so we don't, you know, damage the rubber or whatever. So there we go, removing the coat. We do have to remove the arms as well, or no, the hands, right? We have to remove the hands because we want to get these red uh, bandanas off. And I'll have to actually cut this shirt, which hurts my feelings. But, you know, I guess you got to do what you got to do. So what we're going to do is uh, heat up the head skin here, heat up the head skin here. And um, maybe while I'm doing that, I can maybe heat up the hands. I don't know. We'll just have to see. But let's go ahead and heat up the head skins, and then we'll go from there. Alright guys, maybe that is good enough. Uh, I do know that people have had a problem with this head scan. I know Wad Figs, I think, snapped his neck off. And I really don't care if I snap the neck off of it, to be honest with you, because I already ordered another one. So if it snaps off, you know what, I can always crack the torso. Maybe we can use the parts for something else. I'm not sure if this is heated up long enough. We may have to heat up that longer. Let's go ahead and go to the Elite 35 first and we'll see. Oh God, Jesus in heaven. Oh, Jesus in heaven. The back was way worse than the front. Oh. Yeah, that burnt a little bit. All right, there we go. Got the head scan. Jesus, Lord in heaven. Okay. Did we heat up the hands at all? Yeah, hands aren't good. Okay, what we can do is, I guess when we're heating up the uh, the Elite 66 Harper again, when we're heating this up again, we can go ahead and heat up the hands, and we'll put the hands in the spot too. That way we can go ahead and pop those off and get that reattached, no problem. But now we're going to heat it up again because uh, i got to get that head scan off of there. All right, maybe that is good enough. We're gonna start with the head scan because I really do need to get that off. Oh, Lord Jesus in heaven. All right, there we go, we did get it off. And now we're going to pop these hands off. Oh God, they fell right out. Oh God, look at, look how hot that was that it literally pulled the whole peg out of the hand. Oh, that's unfortunate, that's okay though. We can, we can still swing it, we can still fix it. All right, we got the other hand, now we slide this off, so there we go. I can actually reattach this, no problem. It should be able to just go back on. Um, you gotta run that peg, though, through the thing, so I'm probably gonna have to wait till this cools down, heat up the hand again. God, I've never had this happen on surgery. First time for everything here on episode number 26. Oh, yeah, this sucks, eggs. I mean, it'll go back on there pretty easy once I get it in the hole, but it's gonna take a minute to get back in the hole. Oh, yeah, it's gonna take a minute, but let's go ahead and, and uh, pop the head skin on there first. Let's pop this head skin on here, and then, uh, then we're gonna have to cut that shirt off, too, and then we're gonna have to put the other shirt on here. They made the neck, uh, the, the, the holes for these heads. For Rowan and Harper, they made this super small. Like, look how small that is compared to the, the ball joint that we got right here. All right, got it on there. So now what we're gonna have to do is cut off that shirt and I'm gonna have to reattach that hand, which sucks eggs. But the next time you guys will see it, we'll be putting on the t-shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off and we're gonna take the black cloth shirt and, oh, look at that dust, man. What is that? I guess it kinda, I kinda like that. Kinda like the dust, kinda makes it look dirty. You know, Luke Harper's kind of a dirty dude. So we'll add this. The next segment you guys will see will be me adding this back with the hand still fixed and uh, th this shirt will be off. All right guys, here we go. We got Luke Harper. It looks absolutely fantastic shirtless. I wish there was more chest hair on it. You guys can see the chest hair a little bit under the beard there. I wish there was more on it. Maybe I can add that later or something. I'm not sure. But uh, we have the shirt here. I have the cloth t-shirt. And I did add some more dust to the front of it. That way, you know, it kind of gives it that Luke Harper feel to it. But we're just going to put his hands over his head here. And hopefully we can get this on without any issues. It does stretch quite a bit. And the only figure I've ever put this on, I think, was like a Jeff Hardy or something. So we'll just have to see how it goes. But uh, let's go ahead and throw his. So sticking it over his head, putting his arms through. You guys know how to put a real shirt on, right? So we pull it over here. Uh, not going to lie to you, these shirts are kind of difficult to put on. Is it, am I putting it on backwards or inside out? Let's, oh uh, crap, I may have it inside out. Turning it inside out. Oh snap, I think I did. Yeah, I had it on inside out. Okay, so I got to dust it up real quick. All right, there we go. We got a little bit of dust on it. All right, so putting it back over his head, it may be a little bit difficult to do on camera. I may not be able to do it on camera. We'll have to see here, but putting his one arm on and then the other arm and then stretching it over and then we got to make sure that we get it over the back of his head here. Stretching that over. 
I got this off of eBay, I think. They sell fantastic WWE figure clothing. It's kind of expensive, to be honest with you, but you know, if you're just picking up one or two pieces, um, it's not that bad. But there we go. Uh, go ahead and put that on. No, that's got to go through the hole, you stupid idiot. All right, so there we go. And then the other arm, I think, is already in. And that is it, right? That is... That is complete. We have the, the sleeveless tee on there. We got the head skin on there. Holy crap, that looks ultimate. I've always loved Luke Harper, but my god, this looks great. That looks absolutely fan freaking tastic. We get it, you know, in the middle, get it all lined up. Another thing I may do is come in here and paint the belt. You see the belt's all plain blue. I may paint that black and silver. Silver belt buckle, black belt. I think it'd make it look a little bit better, but there's Luke Harper, guys. Holy crap, that looks awesome. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think about that Harper fix up. All right, so there's Harper, guys. Let's go ahead and get the rest of what we've done here today. Even though this is the best one, I think this is probably the best out of all three figures that we've done. I may dirty that up a little bit more with some paint or something, but geez, man, that, that is clean stuff. Alright, guys, so here is everything that we've done here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. You guys can see the Bludgeon Brothers on the left. Here they are with their uh, regular Elite head scans. Here's the Elite 48 Rowan head scan on the Elite 66 Rowan, and then we have the Elite 35 Harper head scan on the Elite 66 Harper, and you can see their necks are a little bit too tall. They just look a bit odd, but enough with these guys. Let's get those out of the way. These are where the show is at, guys. Look at that. These head scans look great on these figures. I think that uh, the other Rowan head scan, this sits perfectly on this body. I actually like this figure. Now, the body mold doesn't bother me as much with this head scan on it, so I really like this Rowan. And then this Harper is absolutely beautiful. I can't remember if I've seen somebody. I feel like I've seen somebody do this or something similar to it, but I, I feel like I'm the first one to do something of this nature as far as the cloth sure goes. Um, maybe, I know a lot of people have taken the, the wristbands off before. I've seen these arms somewhere, and this head scan just looks great on this body, man. Oh my goodness, I cannot get over how great that looks. So Harper and Rowan turned out fantastic, and then my secret character over here is looking good so far. I cannot wait to get a head scan made, and I think the body looks good. The tattoos, again, I'm going to have to probably acetone all these tattoos off. i got to add some tattoos to him. I've got to uh, take off the AOP. i got to take off the logo back here. i got to get a head scan, like I said, but I think it was a very successful surgery for episode number 26. Again, we didn't do anything crazy, but I am really appreciative of the, way, of the way everything came out here today. Umaga's still over there, The Rock and the Bludgeon Brothers are okay, and we still have this uh, this jacket that we could throw on Harper if I wanted to. I may get the flannel shirt, or maybe I'll buy another hoodie or get a custom one made or something, because I don't know, I feel like the, the white or gray will look weird over the black and the blue jeans, I'm not sure, but... Anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching. That's going to do it for today's episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery, episode number 26. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of Harper, Rowan, and Mystery Man. Take a guess on who this is. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.